everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry, I, I want to start by saying sorry I didn't film last week and I've been trying to stick to a schedule. Um, but I didn't film last week because I was super, super sick. Well, the cold is going around and I got super sick and I normally don't get sick. So yeah, um, I did have to call it, or not, I didn't call into work. I left early from work so I was just so sick. Um, but yeah. I wanted to film a little bit of something different for you guys, like than other than favorites or a uh, tutorial. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages on Facebook, particularly Facebook, um, particularly like asking me questions about like tips and tricks on how to be a makeup artist, tips and tricks on how to do certain things that have to do with the artistry of makeup. So I want to start by saying one: I don't consider myself a makeup artist. I I feel that I don't have the proper training for it. I mean, I do freelance, so I do do makeup and get paid for it. I don't consider myself a professional and that I know everything and everything about makeup and that what I do is right. Okay, so I, I just want to start by saying that so people don't like jump on my throat and try to kill me or say mean things to me because they think I'm coming off as cocky or something like that. Yeah, but it's taken a lot of practice. So today's video, let me get down to it. It's going to be my tips and tricks as a freelancer and as just somebody that loves to do makeup on other people. This tip would be practice. There is nothing that I can tell you or I can show you that's going to make you a makeup artist like that. You have to practice. And you have to start by practicing on yourself because when you show up to clients' houses and they come to yours, you want to look good. Figure out your contour angles. Figure out where to highlight the shape of your eyes do you need to make your wing liner straighter to make your eyes look wider because they're smaller or do you need to um, flick it upward so that your eyes aren't so downturned to make my eyes look bigger like I extend my eyeshadow my crease is a little bit lower because I have a hooded eye and I extend my eyelid a little bit upper to make my eyes look bigger so you need to figure out your own face because you never know who you're going to meet, you never know who you're going to see, you never know what opportunity Go up to somebody's house, look like dress appropriate. Normally I like to wear all black, I'll wear earrings like this so that I look put together. Um, I would say wear all black, you can never go wrong, it, makes, it slims everybody, it looks good. Just wear black on black and it makes you look like a makeup artist, it makes you look a lot more professional. I know MAC, their colors is all black and wear like a v-neck shirt because you're going to be bent down the whole time so don't wear too much of a low cut shirt make sure that your clothes is comfortable you are not just going to be standing there looking pretty you're going to be bent down you're going to have to be going back and forth you're going to be sweating it's going to get hot put your hair up i mean if you're going to let it down put it behind your ears and so that you can push it back um but i would say put your hair in a bun put your hair in a ponytail um, be comfortable because you are working you are working is don't get into it because you think makeup doing makeup is easy money because it's not trust me be prepared to spend money before you make money my kit is probably way wor worth I, I mean I'm not saying I have like an amazing kit but I put way more money into it than what I've gotten out of doing makeup I do get a good chunk of clients I do get a good chunk of money on a weekend um, but I don't make enough to where I could quit my full-time job and just be a makeup artist. Um, it takes a lot of hard work, it takes a lot of raw talent, and it takes a lot of practice to be one of those makeup artists that can quit their job and just do makeup. Or work for a company like MAC, so they will pay you. I'm not sure how that works, but I'm assuming that they pay by the hour. I mean. If that's the deal and they pay mileage and stuff, if that's the deal, then you could probably make that your full-time job. Um, but don't expect to make a huge amount of money. You have to spend money because obviously you need utensils. You can't just keep using your same old makeup. I mean, that's how I started. I was using the same makeup that I was using on myself and I had to be cleaning it all the time. And I had like probably like 20 brushes to my name. And you want to have your things that you just use on your clients and you want to have your things that you just use on yourself. I mean, yeah, you can mix them like eyeshadows and stuff, but try to keep it more for um, your clients. Um, sorry if you can hear sirens. I live right on River Road, if you live in Oregon, you know where that is. So it's a straight road to the hospital, so you'll probably hear like 20 of those. 
I want to be prepared to do makeup for free. It sounds tough because your makeup is expensive and you spent a lot on it and you worked your ass off and you're going to probably travel to their house. You're going to have to rely on tips until you get a good clientele. Um, and don't expect to charge $70 for makeup. Nobody's going to pay $70 for makeup when they could probably get somebody who's way more experienced for $50 or $40. My fee, um, I've been doing this for about, I would say almost a year doing makeup. So my fees right now, I do $35, which includes a full face and lashes. Um, I will do hair if I have to. I really don't like to do hair. I'm going to be 100. I do not like doing hair. What I like to do is I do a sample makeup. So I have them send me pictures, I practice, whatever. Or I do a trial run so they come either to my house or I go to theirs. And um, I try on the makeup. They look at it. If there's anything they want to change, anything that they want different, we work on that. And then they get their what they paid for on the day of the event. Which, it makes it kind of hard because it's, you know, double the trip. But I want them to be satisfied. I want them to be happy. I don't want to get there, do their makeup, and have them not like it. And then not tell me or be totally unhappy and then say things about me to other people. Because, honestly, being a makeup artist, it gets it gets to different people through word of mouth. And if one person says, oh, yeah, she just she didn't even give me a sample of what it was going to look like. And then when she did do it, it wasn't good at all, you know. With word of mouth, it can either make your reputation or it can ruin it. So that's why I like to do the sample. We can switch it, we can make it better, we can make it worse. But they do pay me on the sample. Which I guess is how I secure myself. Because I've had really bad experiences where I get to the final makeup and then they say, Oh, I don't have money. Is it okay if I pay you next time? I'm a perfectionist when it comes to doing other people's makeup. I'll redo it and redo it and redo it. My normal session is one to two hours. And I roughly always tell them it's an hour and a half. Just so that it gives myself enough time. Because I take forever, honestly. Um, just because I want them to look right. Pictures of your work. I'm terrible. Terrible at taking pictures of my work. I'll do my work. I'm so tired. And then I want to leave. And I don't take pictures. And some people will go look at your Instagram. If there's no pictures. They won't hire you, you know, or they want us to samples. Like I know I did, um, or was, I did a presentation for the Fiesta Mexicana for the city of Woodburn, and the girl was like, "Oh, let's see pictures," and I had like two, you know. You want to have like them. You want to kind of try to make your Instagram all makeup. I mean, if you can make two Instagrams, which I can't figure out how to do, but if you can make a makeup and a your personal Instagram, then do that. I think that would be the best. Me, I'm kind of careful with what I post, and I try to make it majority. Um, makeup so that when people look at it it's just pictures and pictures and pictures of work I've done so they can kind of decide on what they want also is talk to your client when you're doing their makeup I've had clients that it's completely quiet like it is quiet and I'm there for an hour and a half doing their makeup and it's quiet and trust me those are my first couple clients and it was the awkward, most awkwardest thing ever talk to your client get to know them if they like you they'll come back that is, I think that's the number one key about doing makeup. Make your client like you. Make them love you. Make them see you as a friend. Because guys have their barbers. I mean, I don't know if it's just in movies that guys talk to their barbers and they tell them like what's going on in their lives. But guys have their barbers and girls have their hairstylists and their makeup artists. I mean, even if you have nothing to talk about, tell them what you're doing. Like, oh, I'm going to apply some moisturizer to your skin, you know. And I text my clients like for a good like week before we actually do it. Um, so I'm texting constantly and I'm like, oh, so you said you wanted this, blah, blah, I have these colors. What color would you want on the lid and do you want it darker? You know, I ask questions and then I tell them like, oh, are you oily or are you dry? And then that's when I decide what products to use. Because questions about them to make them feel comfortable. Make sure you ask them, oh, hey, if you take selfies, will you tag me so that, you know, explain to them, you know, word of mouth, blah, blah. Or you don't even have to explain to them, just ask them to tag you. Um, and tag them in the pictures too. Um, but yeah, when you go to the people's houses, make sure somebody knows exactly where you're going. Because being a makeup artist is fun, it's awesome, but it's kind of scary at the same time. You're going to different people's houses to do makeup, you know, and some of these people you've never met in your house. Like, I mean, in your life. Um, I did this lady's makeup and I had to go to her house and she lives in Salem, which I live in Kaiser. I've never met this lady, I've never been 
in that area. It was kind of not a nicer area, so I was kind of scared. But, I mean, you can't really bring somebody with you because it's kind of weird. But what I did is I texted my boyfriend as soon as I got there. I texted him the address so he knew exactly where I was. If for some reason I told him, hey, if I don't text you in an hour and a half, call me and call me. So, um, because I was kind of scared. I mean, I'm, I'm by myself. I'm a girl, you know, which has nothing to do with it. But I'm a girl. And, you know, anything can happen. And so this apartment was super sketch. I mean, the lady ended up being totally nice. Um, really nice kind. Really good. Um, everything turned out well. But you want to be safe. That's for, first and foremost. Um, you want to be safe. I have a contract written up for, like, big events, like weddings and stuff. Um... So, sign it on the day of the trial, which pretty much says that um, I'm doing, I'm contracting myself to do your makeup for this day at this time. You want me to be there at this time um, to do your makeup. If I at any point feel uncomfortable, I feel like I'm not safe. I feel like I'm not, um, how do I explain it? I'm not, um, I just feel like my safety is at jeopardy. This contract is terminating. You're going through with the contract. And make sure you have to protect yourself a lot too. Because it's easy to get yourself in situations where you could be hurt. So you have to um, think about it in ways that protect yourself. I mean, there's nothing that I can really say that's going to prepare you to take your first client. All I can say is good luck and do your best. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to other people's makeup because I want, I never want to leave somebody's house or have somebody walk out of my house who I did their makeup and think I should have done this or man her eyebrow looks effed up. Like, I'm putting my best out there and I'm making sure that as soon as she walks out, she looks perfect to me. She's in love with it and Everybody around her is gonna love it. Like after I do makeup, I give them three cards for family, friend, and you know, whoever else to carry yourself with if you need to contact me. I've had awesome clients that say just do your magic and do whatever you think would look good, and um, I love those clients, but I love clients that have a vision in mind as well. I have I love clients that say, you know, I want to look like this, I want this to look like this, because it just gives me a challenge and it pushes me to work, I guess, work harder and make them look like what they thought they couldn't Cause is why i love doing makeup and why i love being a makeup artist because you get that sense of like being proud and you make somebody look like what they never envisioned they could be you know my mom i just did her makeup last night and she never wears makeup she's super simple i gave her a plum smoky eye and a plum like dark vampy lip and oh my god it's like she went from 36, sorry mom for saying your age, but she went from 36 to a 20 year old. Her skin looked 10 times better than mine, and I'm 20, 10 times better than mine. Her eyes look amazing, she just looked gorgeous. Like I, I look nothing like my mother. My, I got, I was blessed with my father's um, look, so I look nothing like her. I don't think any of us do, but she's just such a gorgeous woman, and it sucks that like, you don't really, you take them for granted and you don't realize how beautiful people are without makeup. But just seeing them turn into a different person with makeup is what I think makes me feel so happy and what makes me, like, um, so proud to be a makeup artist is that I can transform people. I can look at a person and have a vision of what I think they're going to look like and then I exceed my expectations and I think that's the best part about being a makeup artist and about doing what I do is showing up to somebody's house, them not having a lot of faith in me, and then boom, they're a different person. Um, but yeah, for all of you that are trying to become a makeup artist, go for it. I mean, it's going to take money, it's going to take practice. They're going to make fun of you, but you know what? You can't ever hate on somebody that's trying to make something out of themselves. Tune for my next video. It's going to be kind of a, I, I'm starting this makeup artist kind of series on my channel, so Stay tuned for my next video, um, and yeah, thank you for watching guys, and I hope this was informative. Um, leave me comments, thumbs up if you like this makeup artist series kind of advice thing. Um, but yeah, thanks guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!